Ziyi Chinese, Ziyi Pinyin, Ziyi, Wade Giles, Chi I, Japanese pronunciation, Chiga, Korean, Jui Vietnamese, Tri Gi, 538-597 CE is traditionally listed as the fourth patriarch, but is generally considered the founder of the Tiantai tradition of Buddhism in China. His standard title was Sramana Ziyi ch. Sha Men Ziyi linking him to the broad tradition of Indian asceticism. Ziyi is famous for being the first in the history of Chinese Buddhism to elaborate a complete, critical and systematic classification of the Buddhist teachings. He is also regarded as the first major figure to make a significant break from the Indian tradition, to form an indigenous Chinese system. Biography <inaudible> 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 Born with the surname Chen Shane in Wurong District, Jing Prefecture now Hubei, Ziyi left home to become a monk at 18, after the loss of his parents and his hometown Zhongling that fell to the Western Wei Army when Ziyi was 17. At 23, he received his most important influences from his first teacher, Nanyue Hu Si CE, a meditation master who would later be listed as Ziyi's predecessor in the Tiantai lineage. After a period of study with Hu Si he spent some time working in the southern capital of Jiangking. Then in 575 he went to Tiantai Mountain for intensive study and practice with a group of disciples. Here he worked on adapting the Indian meditation principles of Samatha and Vipassana translated as Ji and Guan into a complex system of self-cultivation practice that also incorporated devotional rituals and confession, repentance rites. Then in 585 he returned to Jinling, where he completed his monumental commentarial works on the Lotus Sutra, the Fawa Wenju 587 CE, and the Fawa Shweni 593 CE. Chappelle holds that Ziyi provided a religious framework which seemed suited to adapt to other cultures, to evolve new practices, and to universalize Buddhism." Ziyi and Bodhidharma were contemporaneous, though Ziyi had royal patronage whilst Bodhidharma did not. <laughs> Important works Ziyi's lesser treatise on concentration and insight was probably the first practical manual of meditation available to the Chinese and with its direct influence on the So Chan I was very influential in the development of Chan meditation. Rujun Wu identifies the great treatise on concentration and insight, Mohi Ji Guan Mohe Zhiguan of Ziyi as the seminal text of the Tiantai school. Among Ziyi's many important works are the Liu Miao Feimen, Words and Phrases of the Lotus Sutra, Fawa Wenju Fawa Wenju, and Profound Meaning of the Lotus Sutra, Fawa Zanyi Fawa Shweni. Of the works attributed to him although many may have been written by his disciples, about thirty are extant. Four Samadhis Ziyi developed a curriculum of practice which was distilled into the Four Samadhis Chinese, Sijong Sanmei Pinyin, Sijong Sanmei. These four samadhi were expounded in Ziyi's Mohe Zhiguan Chinese, Mohe Guan JPN, Makashikan. 
The MOHE Zhiguan is the magnum opus of Ziyi's maturity and is held to be a grand summary of the Buddhist tradition according to his experience and understanding at that time. The text of the MOHE Zhiguan was refined from lectures Ziyi gave in 594 in the capital city of Jinling and was the sum of his experience at Mount Tiantai C.585 and inquiry thus far. Parsing the title, G refers to Chan meditation and the concentrated and quiescent state attained thereby, and Guan refers to contemplation and the wisdom attained thereby. Swanson reports that Ziyi held that there are two modes of Ji Guan, that of sitting in meditation Zuo, and that of responding to objects in accordance with conditions, Li Yuan Dui Jing which is further refined as abiding in the natural state of a calm and insightful mind under any and all activities and conditions. Swanson states that Ziyi in the Mohe Zhiguan, less than pre greater than slash pre greater than dot 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 is critical of an unbalanced emphasis on meditation alone portraying it as a possible extreme view and practice and offering instead the binome g guan g guan calming cessation and insight contemplation samatha vipassana as a more comprehensive term for buddhist practice the Samadhi of one practice, skt. Ikavyuha samadhi, ch. Yisheng Sanmei, which is also known as the samadhi of oneness, or the calmness in which one realizes that all dharmas are the same. Wing Tsit Chan, is one of the four samadhi that both refine, mark the passage to, and qualify the state of perfect enlightenment expounded in the Mohe Zhiguan. The term, Samadhi of Oneness, was subsequently used by Daoxin. The four samadhis are Constantly seated samadhi. Changzhou Sanmei Changzuo Sanmei 90 days of motionless sitting, leaving the seat only for reasons of natural need. Constantly walking Samadhi. Changxing Sanmei Changxing Sanmei 90 days of mindful walking and meditating on Amitabha. Half walking half seated Samadhi. Bangsing Banzo Sanmei Banxing Banzuo Sanmei includes various practices such as chanting, contemplation of the emptiness of all dharmas, and the Lotus Samadhi, which includes penance, prayer, worship of the Buddhas, and reciting the Lotus Sutra. Neither walking nor sitting Samadhi. Faxing Fizuo Sanmei Faxing Fizuo Sanmei. This includes the awareness of mental factors", as they arise in the mind. One is to contemplate them as not moving, not originated, not extinguished, not coming, not going. The Five Periods and Eight Teachings of the Buddha In order to provide a comprehensive framework for Buddhist doctrine, Ziyi classified the various Buddhist sutras into the five periods and eight teachings traditional Chinese, Wu Shi Ba Jiao simplified Chinese, Wu Shi Ba Jiao pinyin, Wu Shi Ba Jiao. These were also known as Goji Hakkyo in Japanese and Osi Palgyo, Osipalgyo in Korean. According to Ziyi, the five periods of the Buddha's teachings were as follows: the Flower Garland period, taught immediately after the Buddha attained enlightenment, lasting three weeks. The teachings at this time were incomprehensible to all but advanced bodhisattvas, and thus Shakyamuni Buddha started over with more basic the Agama teachings. The Agama period, taught at Deer Park, and lasting 12 years. 
These consisted of the most elementary teachings of the Buddha including karma, rebirth, the Four Noble Truths, etc. The correct and equal period, lasting eight years. This marks the Buddha's teachings that begin to transition from so-called Hinayana teachings to Mahayana ones. The wisdom period, lasting 22 years. The teachings here consist of the perfection of wisdom teachings among others. Here, the teachings were intended to demonstrate that the classifications of Hinayana and Mahayana were expedient only, and that were ultimately empty. The Lotus and Nirvana period, lasting eight years. The teachings of this final period mark the most perfect teachings, namely the Lotus Sutra and the Mahayana Nirvana Sutra, which encompass the Buddha's original intention. These were compared in order to the five stages of milk, fresh milk, cream, curds, butter and ghee, clarified butter. Further, the teachings of the Buddha were organized into four types based on the capacity of listener. Sudden teachings Gradual teachings Indeterminate teachings Secret or «esoteric» teachings. And four types of sources Hinayana Mahayana Teachings found in both Teachings that transcend both, e.g., Lotus Sutra. Together, these were the eight teachings of the Buddha attributed to Ziyi. Topic: Three thousand realms in a single moment of life. Ziyi taught the principle of three thousand realms in a single thought moment. Achinan Sanzen in his Great Concentration and Insight, based on the Lotus Sutra. The number 3, is derived from the ten worlds, multiplied by ten because of the mutual possession of the ten worlds, which gives 100, multiplied by ten the ten factors listed in ch. 2 of the Lotus Sutra which gives 1000, 1000 multiplied by three the three realms of existence, self, other, and environment which gives 3000. Volume 5 of Great Concentration and Insight states, life at each moment is endowed with the ten worlds. At the same time, each of the ten worlds is endowed with all ten worlds, so that an entity of life actually possesses one hundred worlds. Each of these worlds in turn possesses thirty realms, which means that in the one hundred worlds there are three thousand realms. The three thousand realms of existence are all possessed by life in a single moment. If there is no life, that is the end of the matter. But if there is the slightest bit of life, it contains all the three thousand realms. This is what we mean when we speak of the region of the unfathomable. See also Guoqing Temple Zhou Jichong Topic Notes Topic Works Dharmamitra Trans, The Essentials of Buddhist Meditation by Shramana Ziyi, Kalavinka Press 2008, ISBN 978-1-935413-00-4 Donner, Neil and Daniel B. Stevenson 1993. The Great Calming and Contemplation. Honolulu, University of Hawaii Press. Shen, Heian. The Profound Meaning of the Lotus Sutra, Tin Te Philosophy of Buddhism Volumes I and II. Delhi, Originals, 2005.
ISBN 8188629413 Swanson, Paul L. Trans. 2004. The Great Cessation and Contemplation. Mo Ho Chi Quan, Chapter 1 to 6. CD-ROM, Tokyo, Kosei Publishing Co. Tam, Y. Loon, 1986. A Study and Translation on the Quan Xin Loon of Chi I, 538-597, and its Commentary by Quan Ting, Hamilton, Ontario, McMaster University Thich Tien Tam, Trans, 1992. Ten Doubt About Pure Land by Dharma Master Kai I, T. 47 No 1961. In, Pure Land Buddhism, Dialogues with Ancient Masters, N.Y., Sutra Translation Committee of the United States and Canada and Buddha Dharma Education Association, pp. 19–51. Topic Secondary Sources Chappelle, David W. 1987. Is Tendai Buddhism Relevant to the Modern World? Japanese Journal of Religious Studies 14 halves 3, 247 266. Dumoulin, Heinrich. Early Chinese Zen re examined tilde a supplement to Zen Buddhism, a history, Japanese Journal of Religious Studies 1993 and 20 over 1. Dumoulin, Heinrich, author, Heisig, James W., Trans, and Knitter, Paul, Trans, 2005. Zen Buddhism, a history. Volume 1, India and China. World Wisdom. ISBN 978-0-941532-89-1 Hurwitz, Leon Chi I 538 An Introduction to the Life and Ideas of a Chinese Buddhist Monk. Melanges Chinois et Boutiques 12, Bruxelles, Institut Belgique des Hautes Etudes Chinoises. Contour, Hans Rudolf. 2002. Contemplation, Practice, Doctrine and Wisdom in the Teaching of Ziyi, 538-597, Inter Religio 42, 21-37 Rhodes, Robert. 2012. The Development of Ziyi's Three Contemplations and Its Relation to the Three Truths Theory. In Conference Papers, Tiantai Buddhist Thought and Practice, Taipei, Wavan University, pp. 312–357 Stevenson, Daniel B. 1986. The Four Kinds of Samadhi in Early Tin Te Buddhism. In, Peter N. Gregory, Traditions of Meditation in Chinese Buddhism Vol. 1, Honolulu, University of Hawaii Press, pp. 45–98. ISBN 0-8248-1088-0.